guys, this is Robin, Ars on the Crafts. Welcome to my craft room. This is my Whip It Wednesday video where I show you what I've worked on in the craft room this week, whether it's just a little bit on a project or it's an entire finish. Now, I'm sorry, but we're going to have to deal with a little bit of shadows today. I have, as you may have seen, my craft room is a mess right now, and there's boxes where I usually stand, so I'm kind of standing off to this side today, which creates shadows. I'm really sorry, but we're going to do the best we can. Yep, even if I come from this side, shadows everywhere. So I'm sure you've already seen by now, this is my baby quilt for this week. It measures 36 by 36, give or take. I did the nine and a half inch blocks with the little insects on the yellow with the green corners. And it's, of course, it's a snowball block. If you want to see it in its full glory, go ahead and head to yesterday's Talk To Me Tuesday. And that's where I tend to hold these quilts up so you can see them in all their lovely glory. So I'm going to go ahead and move this out of the way. This week will be a quick one because I've only worked on one, two, three, Four projects, four projects that I can see right now. If I'm missing any, once again, I'll just show them next week and it's no big deal. This is Rob's Afghan. I've done a really good amount on this this week again. Get it opened up for you guys. So here's where I was last week. So I put on two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, almost 15 rows. And I think that's pretty good. Since part of the time when we were at the cancer center, I did a lot more talking. Well, three days out of the five that we've been here, I did a lot more talking than I did crocheting. So I'm very pleased with how much I got onto this. I have now switched, as you can see, back to the gray. I wanna go ahead and balance out all of this red and start working in another gray like this with a couple of the red stripes. So this is, it's not quite halfway to the length that I need it right now. For me, if it was for me, little old five foot seven me, it would be halfway, but Rob's a bit six foot, six foot one, so he needs to have it a little bit longer than I do. We're figuring we're probably gonna make it about six foot long. And right now it's just about over two feet, maybe two feet, three inches. So I do have a bit of a way to go. Let's, let's call it a third of the way there. It has been very relaxing just to know that on the, the big chemo days when we stay there for five or six hours, that that is the project I'm gonna take. That's the project I'm gonna work on. And then in between on the other days, I decided to go ahead and take my socks so I can whip through those and get those done hopefully soon. I'm pretty sure I did not move my stitch markers last week because this is where I am. I've already got the red to heal. I'm ready to go ahead and turn it and start decreasing. And on this sock is the one I put the time into. I am working on the heel. I am right here. I'm probably two thirds of the way of, you have to add a bunch of stitches to get the heel. And then when you're done adding it, because you want to make that little cup for your heel. And then when you're done adding it, you go ahead and decrease back down to your normal stitch count. So I'm, I'm about... I need to get to 58 stitches and I think I'm at 40, so I'm getting there. And it takes two rounds every time you add a stitch. You add stitches to either end and then you knit around. Then you add stitches and knit around. So it takes a little bit. And the other thing I'm working on is the dragon. Oh no, my bag is empty. This is what I made this week for the dragon. I made one horn. Where'd you go, Felix? Hello. I finished Felix. He turned out so adorable. This is going to be for some babies. So, well, the blanket's going to be for a baby, and then this one will be for a baby or the mom. But you know, if it's your toy, that the babies are going to take it anyway. So, no safety eyes. They just wanted to have yarn eyes. So, there's his cute little face, his horns, and his ears. See how I mentioned before you do that last round of color of his head here so that you can't see where you stitched it down? So that works out really well. And he's got wings, he's got his little tail, he's got more horns back here, or spikes I should say. And there's those cute little hands and feet and his belly. Now he's not meant to stand up, but he will sit on his tail a little bit like that. So he kind of just hangs back like that. So I think he turned out really well. He's really kind of cute. These spikes, they just kind of like flop around a little bit. And he's like I said, he's got his nice little wings. I 
Poor guy. Not all stuffed animals are meant to sit, so at least he can rest on his tail like that. It depends on where you put the feet and things like that. So his feet are down below. So he can. He's not going to be able to stand up on his own because he's got that tail behind him that kind of makes him bottom heavy. So there's cute little Felix the dragon. And guys, this is a quick one this week because that is all I worked on. This guy here, when I was putting him together, I put him together Saturday afternoon. I started putting him together just about 1 o'clock, and it took me all the way until 5 o'clock to work on him. So that's about four hours, give or take some time here or there. I had to, you know, take the dog out and feed the cats and all that. But for the better part of it, you figure it takes at least three, three and a half hours to sew all these little pieces on. Because you want to get everything as best as you can to make them as even as you can. Of course, it's anything that's off a little just adds to the quirkiness of them. But now I need to go ahead and make another partial one. I believe I'm making the head and all the accoutrements to go with it. The wings, the arms, maybe the tail and spikes. But then the next one is going to have a blanket. So it's going to be one of those little loveys with the stuffed animal head. So has anyone ever made an amigurumi style like this? I love to crochet these little animals. This used to be like the main thing I would make all the time when I was crocheting constantly. This and granny square blankets. They're, granny square blankets are just so addictive. But I'm going to let you all guys go. Please go ahead and leave a note down in the comments what you've been working on. And until next week, I hope you get some crafting done. Bye!